Hello everyone. Just want to let you know that I just pre-purchased the Apple 4 like two days ago, the standard edition, and I'll be playing the game when it goes live on June 6, 23, 666, Mark of the Beast, which is just two weeks from now. It's not that far away. And it will be my primary focus on my channel. Now, by no means I'm quitting D2R. Diablo 2 and StarCraft 1 will forever hold a special place within my heart. Nothing will change that. But when D4 goes live, it will be my main focus, at least for a while. So those of you who are going to play D4 as well, and if you'd like to play with me, feel free to add me on Battle.net. I think we'll make a fine team. And I'm going to be mainly playing as Rogue. Um, Range Rogue, specifically. So let me show you guys the build I have planned for my rogue. I know nothing is set in stone yet. I know things are subject to change and will probably change. But um, this is what I have planned for my rogue. Um, I think I'm gonna go with Heartseeker. I'm not sure if it's uh, worth it or not to max out the basic skill. But let's just max for now. Uh, I'm gonna go with Primary Heartseeker. For core skill, um, I like penetration shot the most. Uh, I think rapid fire is better for single target damage, but I think overall in like AOE clearing general use and doesn't suck against boss, I think penetration shot is overall better. Uh, I think I go with improved penetration shot. For agility, um, I'm definitely gonna get dash. Um, let's see. I'm gonna get discipline dash. And I'm gonna max, max weapon mastery, which is gonna uh, improve my damage. Now, for cow trap, I do love cow traps, but I play the beta, and I know when you're fighting against boss, you cannot apply any CC to the boss. So whenever I fight boss, I just found cow trap like completely useless. So I may or may not use it. It depends. Um, for now, I don't think so. Um, I'm gonna go with concealment for sure. Uh, this is like the smoke screen for demon hunter in D3. Um, I think I'm gonna get um, this one as well. Um, I think I'm gonna get Dark Shroud as well. Uh, I think for like higher difficulties, Dark Shroud is gonna be crucial for the survivability. And I think like this one, for every Dark Shroud, you have 4% increased movement speed. I think it's also very helpful. And this one, um, when stealth, uh, you heal for 9%. Maximum life every second. I think this is very good also. So whenever I hit consuming, that's four seconds, four times knives, 36%. Yes, pretty good. Now for imbuement, I know a lot of people will go with one of the imbuement. Uh, most people go with shadow, but I think I'm gonna leave it for now because I already have one, two, three, four, five. Already had five skills, and we only got six skill slots. It's not there a lot. I really wish they have a dedicated button for the ultimate skill, but six skill slots is is not really a lot. So for ultimate, I'm gonna get death trap. Uh, I try ring of arrows. Um, I think it looks cool, but I don't think the damage is that good. And I think the cast animation is just way too long. So I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna get Death, uh, death Trap. Unless they change um, Ring of Arrow. And I'm gonna get Precision. Uh, so I'm gonna left with like 20 skill points. So let's see. Let's see. Yep, I'm gonna get this as well. I'm gonna get this and 
this. Okay, I have one point left, so I don't know. I'm gonna put it here. So I think I'm gonna go with this bill. Uh, again, things are subject to change and will probably change. Um, but my world is gonna look something like this overall. So my friend is gonna play a sorceress or sorcerer. And um, yeah, I think uh, we're gonna make a fine team. Well, anyway, um, yeah, when D4 goes live, it will be my primary focus. But um, by no means I'm quitting D2R. Um, yeah, anybody else want to play with me, feel free to add me on Battle.net. Yeah. Well, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.